I am Hans and this is my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Today we're going to be putting solar panels on the van. Let's do it right now. Let's go! What a beautiful day today to actually get some solar panels up on this van. We got them up there. We're gonna go ahead and talk about the, I think it's called Buell tape that we got with these things. Actually, I had to buy it separate, but basically it goes on the little feet that are right here. It goes underneath there and it's this super sticky, spongy tape. And the, as it gets warmer, it'll actually kind of squish down. So once we put our bolts in here, it's actually going to squish down and then we'll put a little bead of the same sealer that we used for the fans. We'll put that around the feet of these. I'm so excited about this. I've been waiting to do this for such a long time. Just getting everything else. All this stuff's been sitting in my garage for weeks. And so I've got my charge controller. I've got my DC to DC uh, connection for the alternator. I've got pretty much everything I need. I am gonna get to drilling some holes again in the roof and then we will seal those things up and then we're gonna get to all the components. So we're gonna do all of that in this video. Let's get busy. So one of the things we really wanna make sure we do, I mean, this roof is fairly clean. It's just kind of oxidized. But I wanna make sure before we put this tape down and actually get it to adhere here, we wanna make sure that there's nothing in there that's gonna cause it to not stick very well or cause a leak down the road. So we're gonna just come in here with some alcohol, and really scrub right where those pads are gonna sit. Get any contamination that might be in there off. The other really cool thing is, I'm sure that they designed these to go on these vans, but where this thing sits, it sits right down in these channels. So it's actually kind of locked in right here between here and that one. They, these things are kind of holding them in place. Somebody thought that out pretty well. Take that tape off of there. Okay. The worst nightmare came true. It stripped out right away as soon as it got into the sheet metal. So these things have got a really fine thread on them. It makes sense to me that this would be pretty good, but it seems like, and you guys might just yell at me for this, but this has a way thicker, heavier bite to it. It's got a lot more surface area to grab onto the metal. So I thought I'd give this a shot and see how these ones work. The hole's too big. All right, I got a new plan. This has got a lot more bite, like I said. So we're gonna pre-drill this hole here and then we're gonna screw this in. My bit on this is definitely a lot smaller. So once this starts to go in, it's gonna have to expand the metal, which is gonna give it a lot of grip. I wanted to get a little hole going in here little hole oh yeah 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 did you see that it just pulled that thing right down onto the sheet metal right there that's what we need to do for all of these we'll come back put some sealer inside of that little gap and try to level this thing out but that's gonna hold that thing way better than what they provided these guys and again look at the, how fine this is 
it's just there's not a lot of thread there like uh, that to, to hold it this pre-drill hole is almost too big we're not going to use these i want something that's going to last and also if i do have to take this thing off for whatever reason maintenance or whatever it's gonna be really hard to get my hands underneath here to get to that screw that's holding this onto here these two pieces so you're gonna have to get into here and if i did a nut and a bolt which i thought about doing down here it's not gonna work at all at all at all so what i might do is just plan on sealing that hole up and then we'll drill another one right next to it here you can see that it's kind of already kind of punching out here I'm gonna have to hit Home Depot up I think because I don't have much many more of these yes see how that's just smushed out in there this whole thing just smushed right out we got good contact here there's no way water's gonna get into here to leak through. It could leak through potentially on the top here, but we're gonna go ahead and seal that up as soon as we're done drilling all these holes. Yeah, just smushed all this out. It's working. It's really good. See how it pushed all that out? Good, good coverage. We got everything screwed in. I went ahead and sealed each one of these screws with some silicon. It's not silicon, it's that sealer that I used to do the vents so it's some really high quality stuff but it looks pretty good we're in we're straight let's see how straight we are let's look down here down the line it's not perfect but it's pretty good we finally have solar panels so we have vents and we have solar panels we are ready to go so i gotta wire everything up i've got all the wires running on this side of the van right here so you can see all of them sticking out and we'll wire all that. It's gonna come back and it's gonna go and there's holes underneath this piece of tape right here. So it's gonna go right in there. And uh, then I gotta get some caps to cap the rest of that off, cap the rest of this one off. And uh, we've got a couple more nice days coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to rock this thing out as much as I can next up i'm going to go ahead and put my board together where i'm going to have all of my charge controllers my dc to dc my um, inverter everything is going to be on one board laid out we're going to have all of our fuses and everything and that's going to go on the back side right over here on the underside so it'll go in the garage you remember when i said that we were supposed to have a couple nice days of weather it didn't really happen there's been six inches of snow on the top of the van here for the last week. That's why it's taken me so long to get this video done. And I'm super frustrated because I cannot wait to start getting the wiring done on this thing. So we have all of the wires coming in. Only thing I have to do is fix these two wires so that they're coming in through those two holes up there. One of them's gonna get plugged. The other one will actually have these solar wires coming down in. The problem is, is that when I ran these, I didn't run them up through this little section here. So they still have to go behind this piece of insulation and then out through there. Otherwise there's gonna be a big bump right here. It's not gonna be good. You don't want that. We're gonna get all of these wires organized and get everything all set up in here. I'm gonna actually put some two by twos around here and behind all those two by twos will be the excess wire that we're not using in case we ever need to pull more out but we'll go ahead and leave this stuff back behind here and then everything's gonna look really nice and clean on this outside wall. That's my plan. Let me show you what I did. I pulled those wires out. I connected them up here. So all the way down, all the way up to here, all my negatives are going together. Negative, 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 
to those ones. Positive, 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 positive. So we have 12 volts coming in to this. So I ran all of these. As you can see, we are going negative to negative, positive to positive. We can clean a lot of this up and I'll get them sitting on top of that rail so they don't collect any water. We just need to get some little brackets to hold those on. They go into this, they run down through this column and they're coming out right now behind this board. So I need to make those wires come out in that hole, which is not hard. Pulled that out and it gave me enough room to pull those wires back out through. It's much cleaner now. So these wires will come through the cabinet right here and we'll be able to have access to them right here. How many volts do you think that those solar panels are making right now? I have figured out which is positive and which is negative. And 18, 19.2122, that looks about right. Just off of the solar panels that we have right now. And if we're charging two of the Battleborn batteries, they're gonna stay charged up all day long, even if we only have half a day of sun. Plus we have the component that's gonna run off the alternator to charge them when we're driving. This system is going to be really, really good and self-sufficient. Hopefully once I get it set up, I won't even have to think about it for the next 10 years. And again, I'm gonna block this out with some two by twos. So I have almost like a fake wall here that a lot of these wires will organize them and just tuck them back in here. And then that way we just see what's here. We'll have a couple holes coming out in the right places of that board so that everything looks really, really clean on the outside. We don't see a big cluster of wires like this. They're all tucked away in the back. And we just need enough so that when we take that panel off, we can get it out, we can get to those wires and make sure that, you know, if we have to access them, if we have to add wires in the future or anything like that. I am going to put a ground probably back here someplace on this panel. So we do have a earth ground on the, on the chassis of the vehicle. Um, so we'll do something back in here probably to get a ground. I moved into the garage. It's a little bit noisy in here because I got my heater going, but it is just cold, cold, cold outside. But I did get my two by two piece cut. And this is about perfect for what I needed um, based on where my holes are and all that. So I'm trying to get my layout. I found some connectors that fit. I just ran to the auto parts store and I grabbed some of these connectors that have different size holes. Um, and I've got shrink wrap. So I got stuff that's about as close as we're gonna get that'll fit here and here. These do have caps on them so that when you're done putting your wires in, these things go on and then there's a plastic cap. So you really only see a little bit of this kind of stuff coming out. So we will have a shrink wrap on that anyway, so we won't have really anything exposed. Okay, I'm checking in. So I got everything kind of screwed down. You can see that I've changed my layout, obviously. I kind of think that this is going to work out better. I was concerned about all of this stuff being so close to the ground, just in case something slid underneath, because this is going to be the bottom of the where it sits something slid underneath and touched anything or whatever. I just thought maybe if I put all the most important stuff up a little higher, we have the positive and negative bus. I made this negative bus or wire going to here. And I just made this positive wire that's gonna go from here to the bus bar. So we have one side going to the inverter. As for tonight, I'm just trying to get in my messy workbench. I'm just trying to get like as much of the wiring done that I can before I put it in because it's going to be way easier to do it here on the bench than it would be to be crouching down and trying to get all this stuff put in while it's sitting in the van. We have our fuse block here for all of our 12 volt appliances. Our charge controller is sitting right here and this is the DC to DC converter and this is going to charge the system when we are driving. I've got my blocks here, so these are gonna be positive and negative. And I had my inverter right here, but my inverter did not work. Deep down in my heart, I wanted a bigger inverter anyway. So I went and found one on Amazon for three, it's a 3000 watt 
I paid about 370 bucks for it. Comes with a little remote so I can turn it on from wherever I don't have to go to the back and open the garage and turn it on and off. So the next step is gonna be to drill some holes in here so my wires can come through for all of my appliances. And then we're gonna go back into the van and chase all of those wires so that we know what's what. We'll grab this little guy. We'll label everything so we know where everything is and which one of these is doing what. And uh, in case I didn't tell you guys this, this is the 12 to 24 volt little plug here. So we're gonna upgrade to 24 volts from here. There's only one piece of equipment in the whole entire van that is 24 volts. And that is a stereo amplifier that we have that is gonna be hooked up to 24 volts because it works on 12 volts or 24 but it works better on 24. You get more out of it as far as bass and all that stuff because it does have a subwoofer input as well. So it will run the sub and it's gonna run four 16 by nine speakers. So the thing's really gonna rock and roll, sound really nice. Keep snowing. Snowing and snowing and then it snows some more. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for the GDV right now. If you guys like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more like it and get notified, hit the bell button and you will see me in the next video.